Rehearsing in London for their biggest ever UK tour, the Reed brothers were obviously planning to spend more than 15 minutes on stage. It all seems a far cry from their supposedly scandalous early days. I think the biggest scandal really is that we, you know, those early singles weren't hits. That's the only scandal that I can think of. Or another scandal is that we make consistently good records that seem to go into the top 40, but you've got a hard time to see our videos or hear our records on the radio, and that, that's a scandal. That's, that's the only scandal I can think of, and, and, and asso you can associate to us. The Mary Chain haven't been quite as deprived of airplay as they make out. Now that the tunes are more upfront than the feedback, some of the singles have even made top of the pops. So are they mellowing out or selling out? The taste of change on it. I think we'd be really, really boring if we sounded today the way we sounded five years ago. There'd probably be a lot of people like that, but I just think we'd be incredibly unimaginative and but you know boring. Like people say that we, you know, people use the word accessible as if it's a bad word. I mean, accessible is okay by me. Isn't it? The Reeds have nothing if not a sense of tradition, and Blues from a Gun, the first single from their new LP, Automatic, cast a glance at the forerunners of punk. Blues music to me is, um, it's what, I mean, I hate to sound like a, an old nostalgia freak, but it's what punk rock was all about. It's about... It's about the whole idea that you don't really need to be a technician to make music, do you know? I mean, he can hardly play the guitar, you know, really, but his imagination is incredible. He's the best guitarist in this country. It's a measure of the band's status that WEA was prepared to enlist top producer Daniel Lanois to work on Automatic. A fascinating idea, but not a practical one. It heard about us, we met him, and I mean, he was a decent enough guy, but it, it, it wasn't going to make a good record, so we kind of, everybody kind of just stopped it there. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, the record company gives a list of people that, you know, they thought would, would be suitable, and, you know, rather than, um, we went along with it, we, with an idea that wouldn't work, but, you know, we went along with it just to see what would happen. But as soon as we started talking drum machines and fuzzy basses, it turned a lot of people off. In the end, Jim and William produced Automatic. Not surprising, really, as Do It Yourself has always been the band's ethic. We were on the door when we started the group, and uh, lots of reasons we had to get out of that situation, but it was also the fact that we wanted to buy records, and no, there wasn't a record that we could buy because nobody was making any kind of music that we could like. And we decided if nobody made that record, we'd make it ourselves. And we've never looked back. And that, that's my advice to anybody that, that, that sits and listens to our records even and says, well, that's crap. Well, fair enough. But if you don't like it, start a group.